Oh, yeah, the kids are having a great time out here at Camp Cory. Camp Cory, by the way, is named for Cory Rose, who sadly lost a battle with cancer a few years ago. His family decided to create a lasting legacy in his name, and they sure have done it with this amazing place. Now, do you remember as a kid playing with paint-by-number kits? Whatever happened to paint-by-numbers? Well, they are alive and well, and I found them in a house up on Capitol Hill. Marlo Harris and Joe David have a thing about art made to order. It was a way for anyone to be able to start a painting and follow it to completion in just a short period of time. Their Capitol Hill home has an entire gallery devoted to paint-by-number pieces. There's a clown, there's a clown, there's a clown, there's a clown. The ubiquitous clown and the ever-popular Jesus. There's a Jesus, there's a Jesus, there's a Jesus, there's a Jesus. Painting by numbers was a hot hobby in the 1950s and 60s. In 1951, they sold 12 million kits. Lots of dogs, lots of puppies, lots of cute little kitties with big eyes. I don't know if they slipped or did it on purpose, but it looks like they just came back from the dentist and like one side yeah. of their face is paralyzed. Maybe he had a stroke. I'm not sure. Today, pieces like these are a reminder of a pretty past. It brings back the imagery and reminiscence of a better time. And some current day painters have even taken to updating the works with their own modern touch. You know, pedestals made and walls done in them. From old to new, when it comes to keeping colorful kitsch alive and well, Joe David and Marlo Harris have got your number. They're icons of our age. Well, in just a few days, Joe and Marlo will be sharing their love of paint by numbers with thousands of new fans. All of our adult lives, we've been hoping to curate a, a paint by number art show. This weekend at Bumbershoot, their wish comes true. It's called Bumber by Number, an exhibit of paint by number works cleverly altered by local artists and big name celebrities. Nancy Guppy did a piece, and I. I think some guy named Jim Dever did a piece. Many of the works will be for sale, with proceeds from some of them going to local charities. All the proceeds from the sale of my work of art, by the way, uh, entitled Ducky Avenger, will be going right here, right here, right here to Camp Cory. If you buy my painting, I will personally come over to your house and hang it up for you. How about that?